Welcome to Discrete Time Convolution Sum with um, Michael Daly, Abdul Ali, and Ahmed here. And uh, for our convolution sum, we're going to be using this formula here. Y of k is equal to the summation of k equals negative infinity to positive infinity. Uh, x, of k, x of m times h of k minus m. And we're just going to be doing an example problem here to guide you through the convolution sum. For our example, we have an input here. X of k is equal to 4, 1, 2, 5. So the underline here, as I have stated, indicates the zero, so that's going to be x of zero is going to be equal to four. Naren's pulse response is h of k is equal to one, two, negative one, the zero here being two, so h of two, or h of zero will be two. Our goal is to determine the output y of k using the discrete time convolution sum. So basically we're going to be adding up some shifted and um, scaled uh, impulse responses with h of, uh, x of k. A way to check ourselves as we're going through this, at the end we should end up with the number of terms of h x of k plus the number of terms of h of k minus 1 for our output, giving us a total of 6 terms, because we have 4, 3, and then minus 1. Okay. So here I have a table already filled out to use the sliding tape method here. And since h starts at negative 1, we're going to be shifting it just by 1 to get everything to line up right. So starting our m at negative 2, going all the way to 3. And then for our k's, I'm just going to fill this out real quick. Okay. So the k's starting at negative 1 here, going to 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. And then we're going to be taking our x of m, which we had starting at 0, 4, 1, 2, and 5. Okay, now we have our h of negative 1 minus m. So since it started from negative 1, we're going to be shifting at 1 and inverting it. So what normally is at the beginning of h of k, which was 1, it's going to be negative 1 instead. So we're going to be going negative 1, 2, and then 1. And we're going to be looking for an overlap here. So we have an overlap here, 4 and 1. We're going to multiply those. And since there's no other overlaps, we won't be doing any summing here. It's just going to be 4 times 1, and that will give us the for our output. Then we have, well, I'm just going to go ahead and fill this table out here. Whoops, wrong color. So we have negative 1, 2, and 1. Negative 1, 2, and 1. We're just sliding this down by 1 each time. And then negative 1 there. Until there's, no, there's only one overlapping. So that's how we know we have a complete table. So now we're gonna, just going to be filling out our output here. So we look for the overlap. So 2 times 4 is 8, and 1 times 1 is 1, obviously. And then we add those up, we'll have a 9 here. Negative 1 times 4 plus 2 times 1 plus 2 times 1 will give us a 0 for our output of y of 1. So then sliding it one more, we look for the overlap. Negative 1 times 1 plus 2 times 2 plus 5 times 1. That's giving us an 8 there. And then we have an 8 here also. And then for our last we we'll have negative 1 times 5 and giving us a negative 5. So for our final solution, looking back at the table, we have 4, 9, 0, 8, 8, negative 5. So we're just going to fill this out here. 4, 9, 0, 8, 8, 5. Negative 5, sorry. And then to check ourselves, we should have 6 terms. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And there we go.